Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. This time's on Invoked Shadal Dogmatica. And yes, for those wondering, I am running DPE in this package uh, simply because, you know, it's a really good engine. And plus, yeah, DPE is like just a powerhouse this format. So I figured, you know what, let's just go and run it. I have the room and yeah, it, it it's really, it's really strong. So anyway, I figured I'd go and get, show you guys what I got this time around and let's get started. So, the main deck is actually 41 cards, and you'll see why uh, momentarily. Starting off with three copies of Alistair the Invoker, literally the only main deck invoked monster. Uh, gets you access to Invocation, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And you also, you also acts as a pseudo-honest for your fusion monster, so that's pretty nice. Um, for my Dogmatica package, I am running three copies of Ecclesia, simply because it's a really powerful going second tool, because we're in a form where like, most people are, are going to be using their extra deck. Plus, she special summons herself literally for free, and also um, she acts as a searcher for your dogmatical monsters. Uh, next, or basically, she searches out any dogmatica card. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, any dogmatica card. Next, one copy of Floor Delete uh, acts as a form of disruption, and it's huge. So yeah, why not? And of course, can't forget the one Maximus, which actually isn't too required. But if you want to run it, you know, you can. Uh, but if you don't, you don't have to. But I basically just run this to, you know, dump cards into my from my extra deck to the graveyard. That way I can get my combos started. So, yeah, pretty nice. Alright, and for the Shadals, I'm actually running one of each of the best ones. Running one copy of Wendy, which gets you access to another Shadal monster directly from your deck. One Squamata, which acts as a Foolish Burial. One Hedgehog as your Searcher. And for my best utility cards, you know, I got one Beast to draw. One shuttle dragon, so if like if I need to like dump it out to pop a back row, it's gonna be the best way to do it. And of course one aerial just to remove cards out of my opponent's graveyard. So yeah, that I figured just run like at least one of each of the best ones and so forth. Um of course I am running the one dasher and of course the one celestial for my DPE package. And uh, I've noticed that a lot of lists run this simply because it's not only a light monster, but it's it can actually act as a big boss. One copy of Golden Lord. Yeah, I know, I'm not the biggest fan of Eldritch in general, but the one Golden Lord by itself is actually pretty strong, and the fact that you can just, you know, send off a dead card from your hand, or rather, from your field, like a spell or trap that you don't really need to use anymore, you can just send it off and then just have this guy back to your hand and then just special summon himself back, so. Yeah, and he, like I said, he gets sizable, and plus, if you use his effect where he special summons himself to get the uh, additional 1,000 attack or defense in defense points, he cannot be destroyed by card effects until the end of the next turn, so. Yeah, Golden Lord's just big. All right, for our hand traps, I'm running three copies of Ash Blossom, being one of the most generic ones. And of course, three copies of Imperm. I was thinking this or Solemn Strike, but I decided to go for Imperm simply because you can activate it directly from hand so long as you have no cards on field. And plus, again, it's just uh, the life point cost is a little hefty, so that's why I decided to go for it. All right, moving on to spells already for spells. Naturally, you're going to be running three copies of Magical Meltdown. This gets you access to Alistair. And, of course, one Terraforming. So, technically, you are playing four copies of this card. And two copies of Invocation, which is recyclable. So, that's pretty cool. And, actually, if I'm not mistaken, this got a Max Gold reprint. So, you could definitely get this at a lower cost. Uh, only running three copies of Shadal Fusion. I'm not running Ill Shadal Fusion simply because, you know, I'm mostly going to be using my Invoked Engine. And Shadal Fusion basically acts as bait. But if you do get to resolve it, you know, you get instant access to one of your Shadal monsters easily. And plus, not to mention, you could also set it off with the effect of Verity Anaconda, too, so that's pretty nice. Uh, double Nadir Servant, since it is semi-limited for whatever reason. And two copies of Fusion Destiny, which, oddly enough, is also semi-limited. One Called by the Grave, and this is actually why I'm running my deck at 41 cards. One Foolish Barrel, because you send this, send Squamata, and Squamata can dump Wendy, and then, yeah, it just kind of... Uh, deck thins your well you basically thin out your deck uh, very quickly actually as a matter of fact and just to knock them out of the way the only traps i'm running are one punishment one schism and one rest Shadal incarnation that's just an additional combo all right so that pretty much rounds out the main deck for the extra deck i'm running two copies of il Shadal construct probably one of the best Shadals in the entire deck along with winda and of course one Apcolum, which is one of the best enablers for the strategy uh, for my Invoke package, you know, two copies of Mechaba as, you know, just more Interruption. One Purgatrio. One Invoked Agawides, which basically gets the pop cards on summon, or if your opponent special summons monsters, you can also pop cards. 
And also, this guy can also boost himself up by banishing a, a fusion monster directly from your graveyard, and he gets the attack points of it, so it's really strong. Uh, just to go along with our Dogmaticas, you know, one Intess, one Titanic Clad, and of course, one DPE. So, yeah, really powerful cards. I definitely would recommend these. And for the only Link monsters I'm running, one Almirage and one Secure Garna. This is basically what you use Alistair for, simply just to enable Mechaba early game. And of course, one Verte Anaconda. And that's pretty much it. I was considering running Dark, but I decided not to just simply because the de extra deck space is kind of tight. So yeah, I had to go with what I was able to. For the side deck, three Artifact Lancia, which not just for Eldritch, but this is actually a pretty good uh, preemptive hit for uh, for Despia Albaz, simply because, you know, the structure deck is literally just a couple days away from now. And I noticed that the deck actually loses hard to Lancia, so if you can shotgun them early on, this is going to be a good way just to stall them out for a turn. Uh, three copies of Token Collector, um, just for the Swordsville matchup. For more back row heavy strategies, you know, Cosmic Cyclone, naturally, and of course, Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, two copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, which is a counter to other unopposing players' um, DPE, so why not? It's also good against pretty much everything this format, really, so Ice Dragon's Prison is definitely something to consider. Two evenly matched, and one red reboot. So, just kind of going with the standard here. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys again next time.